Say hello, everybody. I hope this comes out good, pretty good. Let's get around here. A little short ride around town. Let's take you for a ride. It's been some time since I've been out for a ride. Actually, it's been right before the trip was supposed to have gone on to this Urban Riders house. Right before well, the day that I canceled that because I came down very sick, I actually got a recall notice. And this is, I, I mentioned this on my ITL about the uh, on my helmet recall. And uh, I had to send it in. Well, this is my new helmet. You can tell the world's kind of crooked. The world's kind of crooked. Why? That's because my new helmet doesn't sit flat on top. It's not rounded like the other one was. It's kind of more of a point. So I got to add the off center and it's kind of crooked. I am currently looking into other mounts for it. Oh, a little too far. Yeah, I'm currently looking for other mounts for it. There's a chin mount that I'm looking at. Which is pretty cool. But I didn't do an unboxing to this helmet, no. Why didn't I do an unboxing to this helmet? Well, because it's a $50 helmet from Amazon.com. Amazon. And I, I decided, you know, it doesn't make sense to me. I was going to do it at first, but I decided, you know, it doesn't make sense. It's a cheap helmet, $50 helmet. I think it's a Tang Chang or something like that. In China. It's actually a pretty decent helmet. It, it, now, it, it, this is a modular. It's, car, it's got a carbon fiber look to it. That's what it is, carbon fiber look. Yeah. Uh, it's DOT approved, which compared to my, other, my previous helmet, that don't mean nothing too much to me, really. Um, except for, I mean, hopefully it's DOT approved. But yeah, it, it's, it, it is what it is. Hopefully, this helmet will be a little bit quieter than the, my previous helmet. Um, it does have a, sun, a sunshade built into it. And this is one of the reasons why I was kind of questioning about getting a sunshade in the past. If it would work with glasses. Well, this one won't. I found that out. But it, it's got it in it. And it's got, instead of having the, uh, oh, instead of having the uh, flip up vents, it's got roll vents, little rollers for it, which is okay with me, I don't care. As long as it works, you know? The helmet seems to be a lot quieter. More comfortable. Q2, uh, it kind of, it covers up the lever for the uh, the, the sun vent, the, the sunshade, but it doesn't matter to me because I it, I can't use it anyway with my glasses. <laughs> but hopefully, this will be my, the microphone's a little bit different in here because this does have a breath shield on it, and the way the, the way the chin bar is set up, I uh, the boom fits a little bit differently, so uh, I hope the, the microphone's in the right place for me. We will adjust all that a little later. That should make it about flat. Oh, my head's crooked. <laughs> like I said, work with the guys, work with me. We will get this straightened out. It's just, it's going to take time. It's going to take some time. Wish I didn't have, didn't miss 
Serving Riders meetup. I mean, I was really, really looking forward to that. <clears throat> Got a clean bill of health. Oh, a couple days ago. But still, it's, it's what's getting me right now is my allergies. And my asthma. So it's like, ah, oh, whatever. This is a bad year. I miss riding the goat, I'll tell you what. I could have rode a goat illegally in Pennsylvania. I mean, in Pennsylvania, there is no helmet law. It means I could have rode the bike without the helmet. But I don't do that. I just don't ride without a helmet. I refuse to. This is my maiden voyage ride for this helmet. I do, and I do like the fit. I do like how everything fits together. I just wish the sunshade was a little bit further more forward to the helmet. That way I could have it over my, my uh, glasses a little bit better. But that's okay, to my eyes. That's okay. That's an extra feature. It's, a, it's not a must. Got a little bit of buffering off the visor there, a little more than I'm used to. Yeah, it's kind of got a kind of got a, a little bit of a front flatness to the front of the. The chin and the visor. But it is a quieter helmet, I'll tell you. It's much, much quieter than my previous one. But there's always corks and stuff we gotta work out. Which is okay, we'll work them out. For a little while, you guys will have to put up with the crooked video. And I apologize, I really do apologize about that. It just, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Uh, SUV up for state inspection, Pennsylvania state inspection today. <sighs> Ride the bike so dang much. I don't I haven't kept track for the last year on my bike. But I don't I ride the bike so much I I mean I know they figure they like, try to get everybody with the with the uh, state emission laws for inspection inspection my county. That every 5,000 miles, if you're running under 5,000 miles a year, you, if you're under 5,000, you are exempt from getting that test done. Okay? It's kind of cool. But they got to figure it out. Well, an average person is going to put that on their, on their car. But yet, I'm not average, am I? I <laughs> look, I ride a KLR. And, uh, yeah, bud. And last year, I put just a hair over 1,600 miles on that, my SUV. I'm like, well, yeah, I didn't need it. I got the GOAT. Figure all that mileage that I normally put on, running around and everything. I put it on the bike. Bike has it's better fuel mileage. It worked out a little. I mean, it works out much better for me. So I got exempt from the uh, from the mission testing. The SUV passed with ease. I kind of figured it would. I sold my breath on the exhaust. 
but I, uh, I mean, it's because uh, to me it was getting louder, and I think it was just more or less me looking for it, and it was actually getting louder because I said, no, 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 they should be the exhaust. It's actually solid, and it's solid for being 10 years old. I mean, that, that SUV is 10 years old this year. And it's only got 66, a little over 66,000 miles on it. It's a low mileage vehicle. But I did a lot of running around afterwards, trying to get things done. Trying to get caught up and trying to get things done so I can get more riding in. It's been raining like crazy. Which of the rain don't really bother me much. Not much, anyway. I sure am loving the ride, though. Watching everybody's YouTube videos via cell phone, that is. Oh, got that voice. The voice. Oh, I love him. He, he makes a really good video. They need to add a little bit something to the bottom of the road. I shouldn't be off-roading on the road. A lot of people parking their motorcycles up on the freaking sidewalk. You know, they got alleys. Oh, every house back here basically has got an alley. They could use them. It's running beautiful, like always. She does. Always, she does a great, fantastic job. No complaining. No complaining. Well, I'm playing a little bit of NT8 here. Alley hopping. You can't see past this box of a thing. Our apartments here. Well, this is Moza Mike. I hope you enjoyed this ride. There'll be many more coming along with the ITL every Saturday. When if I, do, if I miss it on Saturday, I'll try to make sure it gets comes up on Sunday. Moza Mike, Moza Mike saying signing out. Have a great day, guys. Have a great day.